quick errand here. Nothing particularly vlog worthy, but uh, it is like an unbelievably lovely day outside. So enjoy it with me. When I said I had to run a boring errand, I meant boring errand. That I was speaking at. I'm on my way to the UN. That is the U good God. Look at the people waiting outside of Supreme to buy expensive sweatshirts. That is incredible. I'm on my way to the UN, the United Nations. I'm very late. Honestly, I forgot that I was speaking at the UN this morning until Jack sent me a text while I was on my run saying you need to be at the UN in 15 minutes. Should be fine though. What's that? I got the boosted board. Yeah. If you can't afford a helmet, Casey, I'll send you one, bro. I'll send you one. I've got a fucking shit ton of them here. If you're too broke to afford a helmet, I'll send you a brand new. -y. Yeah, I mean, you're going to, you're such a, I'm going to the UN. What? To fucking tell them about head injuries, how much money we waste because fucking hipsters don't want to wear fucking helmets. Cutting through red lights, cutting through pedestrian crossings, cutting, filtering through traffic. No fucking helmet. No brakes on a skateboard. At least, I mean, I've been to bicycle messages. I can't pretend that I'm an angel in the streets, but I've got like two brakes plus helmet, and I've got I've got a lot more reaction time than a fucking speeding, high-powered skateboard. You're setting a real fucking shit example, and if I had teenage kids watching your videos, I'd be fucking pissed. Yes, I was riding along, I seen this kid, maybe he was 12, no helmet, flexing up and down his BMX. And I'm like, dude, where's your helmet? He said, oh, I don't need a helmet. And I said, you fucking need a helmet, mate. He's all, like, oh. you know, and I kept riding. It's like, Casey, bro. Casey, you're such a fucking hipster poser. I mean, your audience is like teenage kids, man. And they're so influential. Like, they're so easily influenced, rather. And you're just cruising around. Like, I'm a hipster, man. Look at me, man. Cruising on the high... You're a fucking dad. You're not an 18-year-old kid anymore, bro. Start acting your fucking... You're younger than me. So I can tell you what to do. But seriously, wear a fucking helmet, man. Don't cut red lights or pedestrian crossings... Or you're going through traffic. You, do you have kids, man? Do you give a fuck about your kids? Do you want them to look after you while you're in a fucking hospital from brain injuries that you got from trying to be a motherfucking hipster on YouTube? Fuck, bro. Grow some. Think skateboarding without a helmet is cool? This man thought so until his massive head injury. His warning for other skaters tonight. Traumatic brain injury is the number one cause of death and disability in children and young adults. And a local teenager doesn't want to be just a statistic. He hopes others will see his scars and learn from his mistakes. Jeremy Arbogast didn't think it was cool to wear his helmet when he was skateboarding. That's until an accident nearly killed him. The 19-year-old fell off a curb and was in a coma for months temporarily lost his memory, he couldn't feed himself, and he thought he might never walk again. About a year after the accident, he has fought hard to get back on his board. Now, head and spine specialist Dr. Brian Weeks says these types of injuries are treatable but not curable. It's life-threatening acutely, and it's tremendously life-altering long-term. I mean, these are, these are types of things that take people in the prime of their life when they're supposed to be enjoying every day and enjoying new things and new experiences, and it really sets them into a situation where they're just fighting to try to, you know, regain what they had. Now, Dr. Weeks says he treats some of the top skateboarders in the world and says his patients would never think of getting on a ramp without their helmets. Fair trade, organic, 